Here's the progress I made on my dad's hat yesterday. So I think that was seven rounds. Um, so I'm gonna try to get another like, hopefully two inches done today. Um, this hat is definitely taking longer than I expected because I thought the DK weight would like go quicker, but it's on size US three needles, which is, how many millimeters is that? 3.25 millimeters. So these are small needles um, and it's one by one ribs. So the project is not going as quickly as I would have hoped, but that's all right. I think I can still get it done for him in the next week. But yeah, I like how it's knitting up though. I think it's gonna be nice when it's done. Good morning, friends. I hope that you are uh, well and warm today. Um, it's pretty chilly for a lot of people today, as you are very well aware of. Um, I just came in from going outside to pick up a gift that I'd left in the car, and I wanted to wrap it. And um, it's six degrees, seven degrees outside right now, so it's pretty chilly. I uh, just went out in this because <laughs> I was only out there for a minute or two. Um, and then I ended up getting distracted and like kind of wandered towards the woods um, for a minute because I saw something and I was like, what's that? So it's, it is chilly, um, which is kind of fun because it doesn't often get that cold here. So it's just neat to experience something a little different. Um, where I grew up, it got really cold in the winter. So I kind of like it, um, but I don't really, I don't know, I've never been a person that was bothered by weather, just generally, so um, as long as I'm not like in like danger, I don't really mind. Um, and with that, like I have been thinking, like last night in particular, I was thinking about um, everyone who doesn't necessarily have like the resources um, <clears throat> to keep themselves safe and warm right now. Um, and so I kind of like looked into it a little bit and we do have a lot of resources for that so that's good so i really hope everyone was taken care of last night um yeah i might look into i don't know i might look into those things for this winter to see if there's anything i could maybe do to be kind of helpful <clears throat> but i hope that you guys are warm and well um today i am uh kind of starting my holiday um for the next week which is exciting I've never taken like a winter break before, so I'm excited about that. And I probably will, I say into starting my holiday, I probably will do some phone calls and emails and paperwork today because I do have some that I would like to get totally caught up before I do my staycation because um, that will make me feel more fully able to relax. Um, but I don't know if we can go to puppy school tonight because uh, it's pretty icy and I don't think I can get out of my driveways. I think I'm gonna call Obi's teacher and let her know that I don't think we can escape to go to puppy school tonight. I was gonna wait and see if it melted a little as the morning went on, but I don't think it, it's seven degrees. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna melt. <laughs> um, and even if I got out of my driveway, um, I'm not convinced, sorry, my arm is starting to go numb. I'm not convinced that the road, um, that would lead from my house to puppy school would be safe to drive on because uh, we're not in an area where there would be salting things and there is definitely a lot of hill. So I don't think we could do that today um, as much as I'd like to. I don't, again, like I don't really mind weather and I don't mind driving in weather, but like there's also a practicality of, to it. Like if I, my car physically won't go on the ice, it just physically won't go on the ice. So. Like, snow is fine, but there's nothing I can do about ice and hills, <laughs> so that's all right. I decided to go ahead and prop you because my arm was really starting to hurt a lot. Um, yes, so for today, I am going to do some wrapping of gifts, I think. Alex's gifts are all wrapped. Um, his final one was delivered yesterday, so that's exciting. And then, of course, I finished his socks um, quite a while ago. My hair is, like, doing something. That's fine. But I got all of Alex's gifts wrapped, and um, I hope he likes them. Um, I tried I tried 
hard this year because he's very good at gift giving and it's not a competition, but um, I do always feel a little bad <laughs> on birthdays and Christmas and things when he's um, given me something awesome and I'm like, oh, I thought I did a good job. <laughs> and he always likes what I give him. I don't know. It might just be me. Um, maybe it's just something I need to work on within myself to stop feeling like I didn't do a good enough job. Um, because I'm sure I did. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see he's got lots of presents under the tree this year, which is fun. I hope that he likes them and I hope they're useful. Some of them I'm not like, I, some of them I definitely guessed. Um, I got him a bunch of fishing stuff and I, I'm just not an expert in these things. Like I fish but very casually. And he's like serious about it. So I may not have gotten him the best stuff, but that's fine. I'm perfectly happy if he wants to return them and get something nicer or more appropriate for what he needs. Cause I just don't know. All I know is that we were going fishing at the farm and he couldn't find his fresh water tackle anywhere. And it was really like irritating him. He couldn't find his fresh water tackle. All he could find was his salt water stuff. And then um, like his stuff for like salmon fishing, which is different than like fishing in just a lake. So I was like, hmm, fresh water tackle you say? So we'll see if he can use any of the stuff I got him. I'll return it and get him different stuff if he doesn't. But everything else actually, I feel pretty confident about. I either know he wants it or I know he's gonna like it or well there are a few well whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter so I am knitting on my dad's hat today um, and then doing some administrative work for work um, and I will also be, I think, wrapping some gifts today because we have our first round of Christmassy festivities that starts tomorrow, which is Christmas Eve. Um, we celebrate 12 days. We start, uh, and by we, I mean Alex and I, um, we start on the 21st and celebrate through the new year. Um, so we kind of started like on the 21st, um, not with gifts and stuff, but just general, like it's the first day of winter. And I started this a few years ago because winter used to be a season that I struggled with. Um, a lot of people struggle with winter cause it's dark and everything looks like it's dead and <laughs> it's gray and, um, it's wet, it's cold. And, um, so I decided several years ago that I wasn't going to spend the rest of my life struggling for a fourth of the year uh, that just felt unacceptable to me so I decided I was going to learn how to enjoy winter um, so I made lists of all the things about winter that I liked or that made it special unique I started planning winter um, activities like crafting or cozy stuff or naturey things um, just and then over the last few years, like winter has become a time I really, really love because I <laughs> made it a time I really love. Um, I kind of reclaimed winter. So on the 21st, it's the first day of winter. I always celebrate um, the winter solstice because it's the first day of winter and hooray winter. <laughs> um, so I've got pine cones and candles and other naturey things that kind of represent winter. Um, you may have seen it in my in the video for the 21st. Um, and yeah, I've been doing hot chocolate, um, the last couple of days and been lighting lots of candles and just lots of wintry things. And then tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So we'll be doing gifts with my niece and nephew. Um, so we'll be traveling to go see them. We'll probably do lunch or dinner and we'll do just Christmas Eve stuff with them. And then we'll do Christmas morning with the dogs. <laughs> And us and I'll probably FaceTime or Zoom with my side of the family a bit um, to see my other nieces that are in Nashville and then we'll spend the afternoon 
with Alex's family um, doing festive things. And then we'll come back home and probably do cozy stuff, which will be nice. Uh, and then um, all next week, I will be doing wintery activities and staycation activities, which will be great. Um, and then we'll do second, <laughs> second Christmas with my side of the family for over the New Year's weekend, which is normally what we do. So then we you know, travel to go see them, spend the weekend with them, do all of the Christmassy stuff with them. And then um, we do New Year's with them like on New Year's. And then we come back home and it's the new year and hooray. So we get a full 12 days of stuff, which is awesome. I really like that. Yeah, so that started Wednesday, now it's Friday, and it just feels like a happy time. I like our, I like our traditions. I think I'm going to be baking a Yule log um, either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure which yet, but I'm definitely baking a Yule log this year. Um, I think I'll take you guys through that process because it'll be fun and festive and um, yeah, something fun to share. I'm doing a very like easy version of the Yule Log this year. <laughs> Cause last one, the last Yule Log um, did not want to stay in log form. It was tasty, but it did not want to stay in log form. Oh, oh dear. That's all right. So, all right, so that was pretty chatty. I think that I will, uh, yeah, get back to catching up on Vlogmas um, episodes for everybody and maybe wrap some gifts soon. But first I'm gonna call Obi's puppy teacher. Okay, so I added quite a bit, um, about two inches, maybe slightly more. I'm right over five inches and I need nine, nine and a half. So um, we're getting there. I think this is all I'm gonna get done on this for today. My hands are starting to tingle a little bit and I don't want to develop any kind of carpal tunnel issues. <laughs> um, yeah, like knitting at this small gauge, like with these needles, it's kind of tough on the hands. So my mother-in-law came over for a bit, uh, for a bit of a um, hangout, a quiet hangout and gift exchange because this weekend is going to be full of activity. So um, we did our gift exchange um, just quietly for a bit at home with her. Uh, our gift to her was the um, advent calendar box from Missouri Star Quilt Company. So she's been opening up a quilting gift once a day, every day this month. Um, and so she brought over some things for us and I'll share them with you because uh, you will like mine. <laughs> um, and then uh, Alex got some fishing stuff, which is good, but I'll show you yeah, I'll show you what I got just because uh, I think you would find it interesting. I'm not gonna share all of my presents that I get with you guys because that might be weird. Um, well, these are all the ones I got today. So, I mean, these are all my gifts from her, um, just generally. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna share all my gifts with you guys over the next week because that would be weird. But the ones that you would find interesting, I will share. So uh, everything she gave me, you guys would probably enjoy. So uh, let's, I'll show you real quick. So this is an awesome book and it was like 50% off. So she was able to get it 50% uh, off, which is great. I've been wanting, wanting that. Um, so that's very exciting. Uh, she also grabbed me the field guide to fleece which is really really awesome because each page has a different breed and it has all this information about each um each breed on each page so that's a really really great guide to just have like right next to the spinning wheel she got me this which you may or may not be interested in but i think somebody probably will be interested in it um it's a similar kind of thing where it's like one well yeah, so it's like one thing per page, but then they've got other sections like remedies and stuff too. So that's awesome. Finally have a necklight. 
<laughs> so um, that will make it a lot easier to craft when the rooms are a little darker in the evening. So that's super exciting. I've been needing a felting pen. Um, yeah, because just the one needle it takes a long time sometimes. So having three needles will be awesome. So that's super exciting. And then she was able to snag one of these sets too. These are the bigger sizes of crochet hooks from Prim. Um, but I'm really excited to try these out because, um, you know, I do have hand pain and things. So the ergonomic line um, sounds awesome. So I'm excited to try those out. Yeah, so those were all of my gifts from her this year. And I thought she, they're great. <laughs> I'm really excited about them. I really want to spend an evening looking through the um, fiber handbook and just spend a few hours flipping through and reading about things like um, I flipped to the yaks at the back and wanted to start reading it but we needed to visit so I did that instead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys because uh, some of you might be interested in some of those items for yourself um, or maybe you have experience with them and you love them um, and maybe it's just excited to see somebody else getting them and being excited about it so yeah super super fun and it was very thoughtful of her to gift those to me. I just made some dinner of some chickpea pasta and an Alfredo sauce with some vegetables and um, like an Italian style sausage. And I think it's gonna be pretty yummy. All right, here's a look at my mom's shawl, all pinned out. It got big, <laughs> which I kind of figured that it would. Um, yeah, that was to be expected. Yeah, so it's pinned out on a queen size bed. Um, <laughs> and it is uh, pretty big. Um, but I think it turned out nicely. I think she'll like it. Um, it'll be fun to see what it looks like all relaxed after I unpin it. Thank you. 